Well, businesses, as you just heard there, really like playing in Halloween, yeah. and why not? We heard about one business in Golden Valley, and we needed to learn more. They're called Funner Brothers Donut Company. They took over Valley Pastries about eight years ago there in Golden Valley, and they went the mad scientist route this Halloween. The owners of the donut company, Alex Loosebrock and Mike Getty, are joining us here this morning. Hello. 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 I love the attire. Thank you. you guys are mad scientists of the donut <laughs> world. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more uh, about the shop, Funner Brothers. Uh, we've owned it for about eight, nine years now. Uh, bought it as Valley Pastries with my good friend Mike here. Um, we loved the donuts. We do everything from scratch. We do donuts the hard way, the way they're supposed to be done. We hand roll it. We make our frosting, all our glazes from scratch. We do it all night long so they're fresh in the morning. Um, and I just felt when I went into this place that there was something here. It just needed to be snazzed up a little bit. So we bought it, kind of hit the ground running, yeah. and and then about a year and a half ago, we decided we need to do a brand change. So Mike came up with the wonderful idea of calling it Funner Brothers because we're just a bunch of big kids and like to have a good time. Who are not actually brothers, by the we're way. Not, and, we're, and, we're, we're pretty close. <laughs> we've been friends since our 20s, lived together for a long time. So we're close to brothers, but right. not, not blood related, no. And with no, you guys both were in the business world prior to this. We right? were, we were both in. It's a big step. I, yeah, yeah, it was a huge step. We had zero idea what we were doing, but it's been, <laughs> it's been a great time. We learned fast and we hit the ground running and we haven't looked back. Yeah. So. Why donuts? They're delicious. Uh, Facts. I, 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 think, uh, I, I think everyone, they bring happiness to people. Yeah, um, do. We don't get yelled a lot uh, in the mornings. Uh, people, it's too early in the morning. Everyone just wants a, some deliciousness. We try and make the environment and the experience just as equal a part as the, the delicious taste of the donuts. And uh, that's what we're really trying to, to do at Funner Brothers. So. And you guys are known for your enormous donut holes. Yeah. Yes. These I are by giant this donut holes. Oh, that's a donut yeah. hole? A donut that's a donut hole. hole. Yeah. These are cupcakes. our haunted holes for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Look at the um, size of that. Yeah, but there's a kid there this big. Yeah, yes. typically they'll come in a glaze or sugar at the shop here. Um, we every new uh, visitor gets a free donut hole. It's a gimme because uh, yeah. I've never seen one spit one out. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would say not. So we're showing some of the creations here. Uh, obviously, you guys came up with some Halloween themed stuff. Yes. Uh, yes. Do you normally have some kind of a seasonal? spin on whatever's going on at that time? Yes, we try to. We always try to keep in the spirit, whether it's colored sprinkles. We're coming into our heavy holiday season now mm -hmm. where the focus is Thanksgiving, and then we do a lot of stuff for Christmas and Hanukkah. We do cookies. We do cookie kits where you can decorate them yourselves. We'll do specially decorated stuff, private orders, but it's uh, we just really try to hit the ground running. And then as of the name change, as of late, we really try to make it an experience. We want you to come into the shop because we... We don't just do donuts the way they're supposed to be done. The experience we deem as funner. So come into the shop and just as Halloween, we had the decorations and the music and the lights going. It'll be the same thing for the, the coming holidays. We've with. got a kid's decorating cart. One thing we always... Uh, we learned that really works is the kids would come in and let them pick out their frosting and then what color sprinkles they want. Oh, sure. So I've got my own little decorating cart and each kid comes up and while the parents are picking out donuts for themselves and the family, the kids are off decorating their own stuff and, and that's just kind of been a great experience for the kids. We got crazy DJ lights with donut truss on the ceiling. <laughs> We've got a beautiful mural on the wall that, uh, that a wonderful artist painted for us and stuff. So it is really about the experience and we, we want people to come down and, and it's a destination to definitely check out. If I would haven't. think this would be like a fun, like a birthday spot or something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. We do some decorating kits for donuts at home as uh -huh. well. So we have stuff for all the occasions. You put two on plates for yeah. us. I assume these are your two favorites. <laughs> Those are our two favorites <laughs> and or for you to sample or to sample anything that yeah, you'd anything like, really. Because like. we are not leaving with any of this stuff. Well, like, so. This is jelly filled. That's jelly a strawberry filled. jelly filled. Blueberry cream or the Boston cream. Yum. Raspberry. This one. That's our apple, which is our fall special right now. At the at the uh, shop, we we drizzle that in a in a creamy caramel sauce, oh, and nice. uh, that's a take home eat with a fork kind of donut. And this is amazing, by the way. It's yeah. very light. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes people think they're going to be a. He it's a very light donut. Yeah. 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 What's the secret to that? Well, I could tell you, but then we. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. you know. No, it is a secret. I think a lot of it is, you know all the love that we put into it and doing it the way we hand roll our dough. We're mm -hmm. individually yeah, cutting it. each donut. Um, we're kind of, you know, I like to say we're bringing that, that old school bakery 
with a new style flair mm -hmm. of you know it's very everything good. that we do it does feel like an old school donut yeah. yes it, does, it tastes classic it tastes we get really people that good. say this tastes like the bakery in my hometown yeah. wherever they're from and and that's the magic of it and you guys also have cookies here. Yeah, this is we something do. That you guys Those do are some of the best taste and sugar cookies I've ever had. Yep. Uh, and uh, yeah, we we got a new oven that actually bakes them evenly now <laughs> with, the, with the remodel. <laughs> so that's a huge help over our old pizza oven. But uh, yeah, the, the sugar cookies are great. Like I said, we got the decorate your home kits at, at for we do Hanukkah kits, we do uh, Christmas kits. Um, every holiday, usually a decorating kit to take home and do with your kids or with your family, just as a fun fun thing to do. So how, how do you come up with X, Y, Z donuts. Donut concoctions. How do you, because I would imagine that's the hardest thing, right? Yep. Like, you got to narrow in on ones that you know are, are going to be popular yep. with people. You got your classics, but for, we've, we've done a few contests in the area called Donut Brawl and, and had pretty good success at those. And um, with our hot caramel apple, that's actually where we came up with that because we had to present something unique. Um, a lot of it comes from, like, coming up with a dessert or something you already love and marrying it with a donut. Yeah, and you can. There's two ways to do it. One is just to put that on a donut. We like to actually incorporate it so they <laughs> melt good. together, so it kind of blur the line between donut and like a, a caramel apple and mm -hmm. an apple filled Bismarck, and and like a hot caramel sauce. And fresh ingredients always sells it yeah. to, to your senses. It looks amazing. So than, uh, fresh ingredients, keeping it simple. I think yeah. we like to. Right now, the trend seems to be. What kind of crazy stuff can you put on a donut? I was like just cereal, say that. fruity pebbles, you know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying that we don't or won't do that, but our focus is the donut. The donut. Like, I let's was just say. have a really good donut yes. with homemade chocolate frosting and really kind of uh, inspire that. Wow, this tastes like a donut I used to have in my grandma's small town, you know? Good so, stuff, guys. Yeah. We appreciate you stopping Thanks, by. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll put some more information for you on our website, minnesotalive.com.